Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be discussing the Scar and how I think it's kind of like a hidden gem, kind of a not really talked about, very consistent, interesting weapon with an interesting damage model. But before I do that, real quick, Glitch Energy, this is the last day of the buy one, get one free sale. Click the link in the description. Try Tropic Thunder, it kept me awake during the tournament I just played, so there it is. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button, it really does help the channel out, and if you want to watch more content like this, hit the subscribe button. Got an awesome montage on the way for you guys. So, as far as the Scar goes, the Scar kind of occupies an interesting position within Battlefield 2042's AR category. It's the slow-firing heavy hitter, if you will. And it has a TTK, according to SimThink, of about 400 milliseconds with high power ammunition, but the coolest thing about the Scar is it drops off to a maximum of a 5 BTK. So, the maximum of times you're going to have to shoot somebody with the Scar at the farthest distances ever is five times. And up close, it is a 3 BTK in the chest, which makes it incredibly deadly in these close quarter scenarios. I think you will still lose out to some other weapons like the M5 and the MP9, just on pure TTK. But if you hit a headshot and a gunfight, they're absolutely done for. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the attachments I use with the Scar. And let me know in the comments section, I could easily drag this video out for like six to eight minutes, but I'm going kind of fast here to not try to waste your guys' time. I just feel like there really isn't much to go over. So let me know in the comments section, do you prefer the shorter versions of these videos? All right, so let's start going over the Scar here. What you got to understand with the Scar is you really don't want to try to force close combat with this gun. This gun best thrives within sort of that short medium to medium range type deal just because of its fire rate and its kind of damage output. Uh, the Scar shoots at 600 RPM with the high power rounds, a little faster with the standard issue, but I would use high power with this gun. Scar has a very unique attribute, which is very, very useful. The Scar has a pretty much forced underbarrel grenade launcher, and unfortunately the ammo pools are shared between all the different attachments you could put on this thing. If it wasn't, it'd be kind of broken, but I find myself using the underbarrel grenade launcher on the Scar quite a bit more than I thought I would. It provides amazing utility because you can have, you know, your default factory mounted fragmentation grenade, smoke grenade, or an armor piercing grenade, even an incendiary grenade. I actually haven't tried that. Let me know in the comment section if you want to try it. Let me know how it is. But the Scar just has great utility all around. The way I run the Scar is actually with factory barrel. I tried it out with horizontal recoil compensator. Just for a little bit, I didn't think it was worth it. I just say your best bet is to run factory barrel, or if you really want to, you can try a suppressor. Uh, but factory barrel is your best bet here, in my opinion. As far as sights, personal preference, red dot, obviously. And the best attachment for this gun, in my opinion, is obviously the high-powered drum magazine. It is, I think, the last magazine you unlock, unfortunately. But the high power and standard issue mags are what you want to run before you actually get the drum mag on this thing. Uh, I would run high power over standard issue, just like switch to standard issue if you run out. High power drum mags allow you to carry 41 308 rounds in this weapon, and it is uh, the weapon sounds good, but you want to, again, keep this weapon at medium range, and that's where you will see your best results. Uh, try to go for headshots with this gun. It is incredibly deadly if you hit a headshot. Almost an insta-kill. Because it just chunks them for so much damage. I'm not sure what the headshot multiplier is in this game, I want to say it's like 1.8 or 2, but uh, this gun might be able to head body in full auto. I don't have stats on that 100%, but however much damage it does, it does enough to where you notice, wow, that guy really died very fast. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the scar. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button. Again, let me know if you like the quicker version of these videos in the comment section down below. I stream every single day at twitch.tv slash enders. Once again, be sure to check out Glitch Energy, they're running a buy one, get one free sale ends today. So if you want to try, no better time. I'll see you guys later.